general physics by iitians okay hello friends in this video we are with our guest arpita who is doing phd in theoretical physics under the department of physics iit delhi in this video she will share her research ex experience in the field of theoretical physics so hello arpita how are you i am fine chatri how are you i am very much fine and i would like to thank you for previously shared your interview experience to all of our, all of our for followers they have really liked the video and they wants to tell you thank you so much <laughs> thank so let's to you start also <laughs> okay so uh, my first question to you that why have you chosen theoretical physics for your research career okay uh, first of all uh, why theoretical physics Uh, we all know that uh, whatever we are uh, watching in front of our eyes they must have some logical base so theoretical physics uh, does the same job so that's why i liked it uh, so much because uh, something happening in front of our eyes uh, that should be uh, some logical value or some logical uh, base so this is given uh, by uh, by the uh, theoretical physics so also uh, some uh, theoretical knowledge means uh, with the help of some theoretical base and uh, computational knowledge we can uh, achieve something which uh, cannot be achieved by uh, means experimentally uh, the great evidence of this uh, thing is uh, black hole recent uh, discoveries of on black hole so these are the uh, main uh, thing why i have chosen theoretical physics even okay. uh, yes no no you say okay so uh, the thing that i want to ask you that uh, what are the research or what kind of research uh, going on theoretical physics okay uh, means uh, in my field i uh, means my working area is uh, in medium properties of particles like uh, how they are behaving in the uh, in some medium like uh, high magnetic field high uh, temperature or high uh, density region how they are uh, behaving uh, how they are behaving so that uh, that is the uh, research area of mine and uh, that will help uh, actually in uh, hic which is uh, heavy and collision experiment which uh, are which has been done for uh, retracing the uh, early universe situation means uh, that it is considered that uh, in the early universe situ uh, situations from from early universe situations uh, to now there must be a stage uh, where the particles must be in some extreme conditions like uh, magnetic the high magnetic field or uh, some high temperature or high density so uh, we are uh, working on that region uh, um, uh, that is uh, high in the in that extreme conditions how particles are behaving so that will give the uh, theoretical base of this uh, situation This okay, so you were mimicking the early universe yeah. uh, by by computer. some model. I mean, Actually, we are uh, yeah, we are uh, doing this by using some models, and we are mimicking the system, and we uh, so that will help uh, us to computing the uh, situations or like uh, how they are behaving. We uh, plot some graphs against uh, that. Uh, situations with the help of this model got it so you are studying the transformation of the particle properties yeah. from the early universe to the present situation or existing universe okay yeah. that's great okay it's really feels interesting and it sounds uh, uh, 
uh, exciting. All the best for your research also. We wish all the best in future. You will produce a lot of valuable research papers in your field and proceed uh, uh, our name, uh, the institute name as well. <laughs> okay, so any kind of suggestion you would like to give the students and also I want to know that what are the career opportunities if anyone pursue career in theoretical physics? Okay. Uh, first of all, career in theoretical physics uh, means uh, researcher. Uh, you can do a postdoc and then uh, join as a scientist in some research institute, or you can be uh, become a professor. So these are the research areas. So you can have after PhD. Or uh, and uh, the suggestion, I will say that uh, there there are some people who uh, discriminate that uh, experimentalist and theory uh, theorist. So that is uh, not uh, that should not be happen because uh, in any field where uh, means theoretical uh, area and experimental area both are dependent on each other and they are just compensating each other. So don't say that uh, ki this particular area needs some specific area, uh, kind of uh, research. This kind of research is not important for this field. Both are equally important for uh, any field. So uh, keep calm, <laughs> do research and do respect all uh, others' uh, research. So that will be okay. all. Okay, so if any graduate student or post postgraduate students want to build their career in theoretical physics, what will be your suggestion to them? How they will proceed? Uh, first of all, uh, keep uh, strong uh, means uh, strong your basics, and whenever you got some got stuck uh, to some uh, problem, just uh, go to the uh, corresponding professor or there are lots of channels like uh, physics by IIT and so, <laughs> so just uh, consult with them and clear your uh, doubts and uh, do read and read and read. And also I think the programming will also play a very yeah, important Yeah, program exactly. Programming language like uh, Python and uh, MATLAB, uh, like uh, then uh, some graph plotter. These are also uh, relevant in every field, actually. So people should know that. Okay. Thank you so much, Arpita, for sharing your valuable information to all of our friends. Friends, hopefully, this video will be extremely important for you if you want to pursue your career in theoretical physics. And please share this video, like this video, share, subscribe to our channel. Arpita, you can also tell if. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Please uh, like this video and share as much as possible and definitely subscribe to this channel. This is a really very important channel and they are doing very well. Thank you so much Arpita for motivating us. Keep motivating and supporting us. Thank you so much.